this song uh, is a song I wrote, and it's called Judas and Me. So listen to the words, uh, because I think we often are like the disciples. When Jesus said, one of you will betray me, we look around at all the other people. And uh, sometimes we realize that we have those moments uh, in our own lives, much like Judas.
wrote that song while on a retreat, a spiritual retreat, and I was on the prayer team, and on the prayer team at an Emmaus retreat, you do a lot of praying and thinking and reflecting. And that song came out of that. And our text today in John chapter 13 says that now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world. He loved them to the end. What a love God has. He loved them to the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things unto his hands, and that he was come from God, went to God, and rises from the supper, and laid aside his garment, and took a towel, and girded himself. And after that he poured water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. As we think about this text, we first of all understand that Jesus had the communion service, the first communion and, and kind of the Passover supper with the disciples. And as he sat around the table with them that night, think about who was at the table. There was Judas who already, uh, it is in his heart to betray Jesus. And there was Peter, who would deny him three times. As we think about that, we, we ask the question, who was really worthy that night to sit at the table, to break bread with Jesus? Certainly not Judas, but then probably not Peter. Actually, no one was. They all betrayed him in the end. Jesus loved them to the end. But in the end, when he needed them the most, they turned their backs on him. And it would be easy for us to point our fingers at them and at Judas and to say, what a shame. We might even say with Peter, I would never deny my king. But yet we do. And we have. And I want to say today that we, we may not live a Judas life, but all of us have had our Judas moments where we betrayed our king, where we should have spoke up and we didn't, where we should have done the right thing and we did the wrong thing. And so today, as we think about the Lord's table, I want to remind you we have our communion table here, and uh, we, we, when we have communion, we tell people that this is the Lord's table. That it's open to all. It's a table of grace. And there might be some that says, I don't feel worthy to partake of this table. But yet the Lord says, come. Because my grace is sufficient. And so I want to invite you today to come to God, to come to his table, to sit at his feet, and to break bread with Jesus. Not because we are worthy through our own merit, but because Jesus died on the cross and his blood was sufficient for the forgiveness of the sins of the whole world. Let us pray. Father, we thank you today that we have this promise that if we confess our sins to you, you're faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and all our unrighteousness. And we thank you for that. God, forgive us for times we fail you and free us for joyful obedience. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you.